Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrich Vox, and despite being in the future, it appears we still have to look into the past to find some answers, as Steven Universe is still dangling mysteries surrounding Pink Diamond right above our heads. Future's fourth episode Volleyball, which concluded the hour-long series premiere, was definitely the most impactful episode of the night. Pulling out the heartstrings and going further back in time, learning more and more about Pink Diamond's riding tendencies when she was younger. Younger in terms of her character arc. But we'll touch on Pink Diamond's character as a whole in a separate video, because I know reactions and discussions around her at the moment are very mixed and very intense. But today, I want to focus on a different aspect regarding Pink Diamond. Her destructive powers are beginning to manifest within Steven, and how those destructive powers impacted Homeworld and the relationship between all four diamonds. As I'm starting to believe there's more than meets the eye. And no, not volleyball's missing eye. So let's dig in a bit more into Pink Diamond's powers, her relationship with White Diamond, and the current physical state of Homeworld. Although I'm sure most of its appearance has more to do with the overproduction of Gem Kind than Pink Diamond's destructive powers, I'm starting to believe Pink played a bigger role than we realize. Of course, spoiler warning if you do not want to know any potential future revelations of Steven Universe, please click off now. With all that said, let's dive in. To understand just what the hell I'm talking about, let's start at the third act of Volleyball, where Pink Pearl, aka Volleyball, began to unravel what really happened with her eye. Steven and Pearl justifiably assumed that White Diamond was the one responsible for the scar, and I'm sure most of us as an audience assumed White was the culprit as well. She appears to be the most powerful diamond with the most influence. As the assumed first gem and leader of Homeworld, we're led to believe the state of Volleyball's cracked eye is something that comes natural to White, and I find it interesting that White Diamond is frequently mentioned throughout the episode. Steven and Pearl assumed the damage was due to her, and as Volleyball elaborates, Pink Diamond got fed up with constantly having to consult Yellow and Blue for a colony, and always being turned down. If they weren't going to give in to her, then she was going to go straight to the head honcho. But the way Pink Pearl frames this makes it sound like this encounter was only between Pink Diamond and White, something Yellow and Blue weren't present for. And after Pink Diamond failed to get her way, she threw a tantrum in her own privacy, unleashing the same whale Pink Steven unleashed and changed her mind. Pink Pearl being caught in the crossfire, and sustaining damage that remains to this very day. Good, we got that. But my biggest takeaways here are, again, Pink confronted White solo, and two, the ability that cracked Pink Pearl was the same ability Pink Steven used. And who did he use it on? White Diamond. And who was around to witness such a thing? Oh, that's right, Steven, Connie, and White. Everyone else was under mind control, and thus contained zero recollection of those events. And just by reading the room in future, it appears the Crystal Gems, and assumably the Diamonds, are still none the wiser to this very day. They may know that at the very least, Steven was separated from his gem, but the display of power is being kept on a need-to-know basis. Ultimately because it shouldn't matter. Whether if you get the full story or the simplified version, you still reach the same outcome. And while that may have just been the way things shook out and changed your mind at the time of the Crooniverse writing it, I believe they're now taking advantage of this scenario. Wait, yeah, the gems weren't around for Pink Steven. Even, neither were the diamonds. Let's expand upon this, which clearly they're doing with Steven's new powers and the episode Volleyball as a whole. Our pro was not aware of Pink Diamond's latent power, referring to her as only a healer. And the more I think about it, I don't believe Yellow and Blue Diamond are in the loop on these powers either. Not once during any of the episodes within Diamond Days do they seem to fear the prospect of Pink Diamond's powers, even when Steven fails to get his way. When Blue visits the prison tower and change her mind, she seems to convey that Pink Diamond always verbally manipulated her way out of situations, when in reality, Pink Diamond was likely just being honest with her feelings. But still, for someone who thinks they know every trick in the book, you think when Blue was chastising Steven, she would have slipped in a, what do you plan to do? Scream your way out of this until the tower is reduced to nothing? But none of the sort happened. Even in Jungle Moon, when Pink Diamond was throwing a tantrum, we saw that she smashed a mirror, but still didn't demonstrate any of the destructive power that Pink Pearl was aware of. And I believe that Diamond base in present day only supports this notion. Sure, the window actually was cracked, so I don't believe Pink Diamond's destructive powers were altered by Stevani, that they perceive things different from how they really happened. I believe Pink really did smash that window. If she unleashed anything Pink Pearl alluded to, or that we've seen Pink Steven or R 
first even use at this point, I do believe there would have been much more noticeable damage in the diamond base. But there wasn't. And even though Pearl only surged pink diamond for quote unquote a few thousand years, that still would have been plenty of time for Pearl to witness interactions with the diamonds. So let me reiterate once more, in that time period, Pink's destructive powers never came up once? But this is where things get crazy. The implications we had up until this point was that White Diamond was the destructive one. When we arrived to Homeworld and Legs, who do the diamonds fear? White. When they land the ship, Yellow and Blue are ready to face the heat, saying they'll return once White's temper has cooled. Yet, White Diamond didn't have a temper. She didn't have any form of temper until Steven re-emerged with himself. Sure, she was irritated, she got angry, but she never got close to the power that the other diamonds feared. Hell, even when White possessed Yellow and Blue, we know in hindsight that was her sick way of helping, because she didn't know any better. So where did the notion of White Diamond's destructive power even come from? Well, if I had to guess, it came from a lie perpetuated by White Diamond herself. One thing the original Steven Universe didn't really show us was that White Diamond did love Pink. She loved her just as much as Yellow and Blue did, but if you ask an average fan who's watched every episode, they probably wouldn't have agreed with that. At least not until the movie where White Diamond was clearly still mourning over Pink, lamenting that Steven was the only one they had left. And for someone who seemed so detached and cold towards Steven, projecting her thoughts and feelings towards Pink Diamond onto him, what changed? Well, I believe White Diamond was the only other person in existence, aside from Pink Pearl, who was aware of Pink Diamond's true destructive potential. Think about it, when Pink Steven uses his abilities in Change Your Mind, again, White Diamond gets irritated, but she's never really surprised or phased. The biggest reaction she gives is, don't you raise your shield at me, but if anything unforeseen was going to startle White, it would have been the whale that accompanied She's Gone. Yet, it only threw her off balance. That's fishy to me. I do think White Diamond deeply cared about Pink Diamond, and I think those emotions and feelings are going to surface in future. As Steven's powers continue to grow out of control, he's going to need help, and he's going to need to consult the diamonds, but I think only White Diamond will be the one who recognizes what's happening. And that's when she'll reveal not just to Steven, but finally to the other diamonds. Pink Diamond had a really bad temper problem, and that a lot of the things you thought I did, destruction you believe I caused, was actually Pink. She would come to me in private and throw tantrums, and I didn't really know how to handle it, and I didn't want to control her. I just wanted to help her. So unsure what to do, I covered it up. I let you two, and by proxy, the rest of Homeworld think I was the one with the destructive power. Now, what I find most interesting about Homeworld is that it's literally in two halves, which, again, I don't believe was solely due to gem production and terraforming. After all, it seems like the diamonds had colonies for quite a while. They were expanding their population and using up other resources for a very long time. So how did the planet get to the point of literally being in two? I believe that could have been the result and impact of Pink Diamond's worst tantrum, something so powerful that it literally tore the planet in half. But Pink's a shrimp compared to the other diamonds. So again, to save face and keep order, to prevent gems from fearing Pink Diamond, White simply took the credit, which only added to the image of her being a detached, emotionless ruler, someone without flaw, and someone to obey. It was a win-win. Pink Diamond continued to be adored by many, yet everyone still knew to follow order whenever White Diamond reared her head. Even just the threat of her pearl would shut everyone up. Now, Rebecca Sugar recently posted concept art from 2016 featuring Pink Diamond and Pearl. What I find interesting is that, in seemingly great text, i.e. we can infer this is White Diamond talking, it states, don't break this one. Which would again infer, White Diamond was aware of Pink Diamond's power and what really happened to her original Pearl. But if Pearl was a gift from all three diamonds, then maybe they are all in the loop. But as it stands, I'm leaning towards this being a secret between three gems and three gems only, one of which no longer exists, survived by her son. If this is the case, I do think it would humanize White Diamond a bit more and in ways stay true to family, taking the fall when necessary. And such a big family secret could certainly give great development to Yellow and Blue as well, who I don't think would necessarily be upset, but definitely thrown off their A-game. Blindsided that White Diamond had her own secrets with Pink, but ultimately only time will tell. However, the more we learn about these powers, the more I just can't wait to see what's going on with White Diamond in Future's opening. It's gonna be crazy, y'all. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I wanna hear yours. What do you think? What are your thoughts on Pink Diamond's destructive powers? 
Do you think all of the other diamonds know or only white? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at AllShrekVods. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Fox, signing out.